It's Mike Unleashed on the Bet Rivers Network. Uh, the big Mike Unleashed topic is Rick Pitino. Uh, Rick Pitino, uh, sore loser that he is, uh, and because he's not raised St. John's to the level of being an NCAA tournament quality team, decided to rip everybody else, including his players, after a loss. Here's what he said. He said, um, this is, um, he said, we, we, this team lost this season the way we recruited. So he buried his assistants. He said, we recruited the antithesis of the way I coach with speed, quickness, fundamental strength, and toughness. It's a good group. They try hard, but they're just not very tough. <laughs> All right. So he rips his own team and then he rips them individually. Uh, and then he says, we have crappy facilities. So he, he didn't use crappy. Uh, and, and he said, but having crappy facilities has nothing to do with not guarding. So now he's doing this in a press conference following a game. So he's already buried his players. He's buried his assistants. He's buried his administration and ripped his facilities. But he goes on further than that because he rips each player individually. Uh, he says... Let me see. Uh, look, Joel Soriano, slow laterally. He's not fast on the court. Chris Ludlam is slow laterally. Sean Conway, slow laterally. Brady Dunlop's physically weak. And Dresa Tra Traor is slow laterally. <laughs> what the hell? you got to be kidding me. Hey, Rick Pitino. That was a complete meltdown by him and a completely disrespectful meltdown. I, I, it's unbelievable. And I don't know what the university's going to do. They paid him a ton of money to build a program there. He had to sanction who they brought in. It's not like they, 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 they put blindfold on him and the assistants all of a sudden, well, here are the guys and they show up for day one. He knew what players he was bringing in. Come on, man. That's a violation for Rick Pitino. Uh, all right. Uh, Patrick Beverly, let me just say this one thing to you folks who will uh, who worshipped the ground that Patrick Beverly walked on and thought it was such a great loss because he was Philly tough. He goes to Milwaukee and throws Philly under the bus, throws the team, his ex-teammates under the bus. Because the one thing here, people were interested in winning, not like Philly. <laughs> like they, you creep. I, I wonder how many people love Patrick Beverly now. All right. Um, Jay Williams. Jay Williams is a guy, I've always said this, of course, talking about the commentator in ESPN, he used to play for Duke and unfortunately didn't have a pro career because he wrecked his leg in a motorcycle accident. And I think that he uh, is bitter about that. And therefore, I think he has to draw as much attention to himself as possible to feel legitimate. So he says that Caitlin Clark of Iowa isn't great yet because she hasn't won a chip. Now, if you've ever seen Caitlin Clark play, I'm really hard to impress. This girl wows me. This girl is a combination of Pete Maravich and Steph Curry. I've never seen anything like this girl. So to say that she's not great is just flat ignorance on, on Jay Williams' part. And it's a hot take that is so horribly wrong that he should probably apologize for it. Pete Maravich never won uh, uh, a championship. Larry Bird never won a championship. You mean to tell me they weren't great college players? What are you even talking about, Jay Williams? All right, I'm done with him. I think Jay Williams has been hanging out with Chris Sims. Yeah, it, come on. It, it's embarrassing. <laughs> Agendas. Just All right. Agendas. Um, Michael Bridges. Wow. Fresh scrubbed Villanova kid from the suburbs here. May have gotten his coach fired. Because they got pounded by 50 points at the Boston Celtics in the game before the All-Star break. He didn't have many favorable things to say about how the team was coached. And so sure enough, Jacques Vaughn gets zippity doo dod And Kevin Ollie, our old pal Kevin Ollie, who was a backup on that team that went to that played the championship with the Lakers. Uh, and he coached UConn and uh, won a national championship as a UConn player. Is now the head coach of the New Jersey Nets. Good luck dealing with Ben Simmons, Kevin. Uh, Ali Ali Oxenfried is what you're going to be saying uh, after having that guy around. Uh, all right, last thing I, I want to talk about, I'm, something I'm dealing with here locally. Uh, it is the no plastic bags rule in my township. Now, I get to, to the shore, and, you, uh, and Jersey has eliminated the plastic bags. I, every time I go to the Acme in Ocean City, uh, I feel naked because 
I, I don't have a, a bag that I bought, like a, a recycled bag. That you can buy. So I wised up and I bought a couple here. But I always, always forget to take them into the grocery store. So I got a bunch of groceries. I'm in the self-checkout line and I'm ready to pay. And uh, they go, how many how many paper bags did you use? You got to pay for the freaking paper bags. So what I do is I leave my grocery I run to my, my car in the parking lot and I bring out my recycled bag. I hate paying 10 cents extra for a paper bag because they charge you now. It's a violation, I think. Darren, your thoughts. I've been dealing with this crap for over a year, and it drives me nuts, Mike. I have probably three do- – see, I remember you shop for one. When I, and I do the food shopping. I don't mind going food shopping. I'm shopping for four people. So I have to have multiple bags. And I always forget them. If you go in my mudroom in my home – there's about 45 of those friggin' bags in there. So you're paying 40 cents extra. For no, a paper bag. they're $1.25 each. They're what, big paper ones. bags? No, no, no. no well, they, they have paper, paper bags. bags. They, what I'm saying is they, they don't charge you now for paper bags. They don't charge. They, at, my, at, my, at the shop right in Marlton, most places here, Target, everything around here, they don't give you the uh, The only place that gives you the option around here is CBS. Those little brown Really? Paper so bags. in your grocery stores, you don't even have paper bags? No, now they offer a 33 cent version, like it looks like the, the old plastic bags with sticker material, but they hold a gallon of a, a, a quarter of milk and, and a thing of cream cheese. Listen, I, I'm not, I'm not, bags, I, I like the policy because anything you can do to uh, eliminate the carbon uh, footprint, I, I'm, uh, it's a, uh, it's I'm a, okay. It's the bane of my existence right now. Yeah, but I always forget it and I got to run out there, but I don't want to pay 10 yeah. cents for a paper bag. Come on, man. I, I forgot it. Can you just spot me the paper bag? All right. Now, last thing, <laughs> TV a recommendation. Curb Your Enthusiasm this past Sunday was hysterical. It, was one, it may have been one of the best ever. So if you haven't seen it on demand, Curb Your Enthusiasm, uh, and I'll give you a hint. Uh, a lot of it has to do with Leon's testicles. All right. I'll just give you that little hint. And also. He is great. J- I like John Oliver because he's a maniac. Um, yeah. Uh, the, I love John Oliver. Yeah, yeah. Last week tonight with John Oliver absolutely skewers supreme court justice clarence thomas yeah it's bad you will you will love it so there are my two tv recommendations all right let's close it down the mike misnelli podcast brought to you by bet rivers you can email me mike at mike com. you can check me out on twitter at mike miss two five if you want a cameo shout out go to cameo.com i'll give you a personal shout out uh and uh, don't forget i got i got a children's book that's kind of cute i got a couple of elementary schools I'm going to be reading to in the next couple of weeks called uh, The Adventures of Shima the Sheba. It's my crazy dog, and it's uh, very well illustrated by my friend Alex Lee, and I think you'll like it. It's a great book for kids just learning how to read or your parents uh, reading to the three-year-old at night. All right, that'll about do it for uh, Darren. Uh, I'm Mike Missanelli. Thanks for listening to the Mike Missanelli Podcast, and don't forget to tell your friends and neighbors you subscribe for free. Just go to Google, Mike Misnelli Podcast. It'll pop up. Punch it up in whatever podcast network, Apple, iTunes, Spotify, Google, whatever, and subscribe, and it'll come to your inbox for free. Have a great rest of the day, everybody, and we'll talk to you later this week. Bye-bye.